welcome to another instalment of Grade Gains Required Practicals for GCSE Physics. Today we're going to be looking at the required practical for the current voltage characteristics of a diode. Now you can download the instructions for this required practical from my web shop. The web address is appearing right here. These are free of charge, they tell you exactly how to do the required practical. In order to do this required practical, you're going to need a power supply, you're going to need a voltmeter, you're going to need an ammeter, you're going to need some connecting wires, you're going to need a protective resistor, which you may be able to see there, tiny little ceramic resistor, and you're going to need a diode. Now, for our diode, we are going to use an LED, a light emitting diode. You can use diodes that don't emit light, but I prefer to use an LED because then at least we can see when it is on. So if we look at the instructions, we can see we have our circuit diagram here. We have our power supply, which includes our rear stat for adjusting the voltage across the diode. We have a 10 ohm protective resistor, our ammeter, our diode and our voltmeter is in parallel across the diode. Now we can connect up our circuit. We connect from our power supply to our resistor. I'm going to use a component holder here just to make it easier to keep the resistor in place. So there's our resistor. We then go from our resistor to our ammeter. From our ammeter to another component holder for our LED. Now if we look carefully at our LED, we can see that our LED has got one leg shorter than the other one. This one is the longest, this one is the shortest. So what we do is we bend the leg like that so that we are really clear that this is the longest leg because it's the one with the bend in it. We connect our LED into our component holder making sure that the long leg, that's the one that we have just bent, is connected on the positive side of our circuit and then we connect back up to our power supply. We now want to connect our voltmeter in parallel. And there we have our completed circuit from our power supply through to the resistor, through our ammeter, through our LED, back to the power supply and the voltmeter in parallel. As with our ohmic and non-ohmic conductor required practicals, we have a results table here for measuring the voltage, our independent variable, and the current, the dependent variable. We can also calculate the resistance after the experiment. So, we're going to start recording our results. We've got 3.74 volts on the voltmeter and 0.12 amps on the ammeter. As with the other required practicals, to get our zero voltage reading, we turn the power supply off, which shows us we have zero volts and zero amps. To get the negative values of voltage, we swap the connectors round on the power supply. And now we can work back up the voltage, making sure that we don't go above 4 volts, because otherwise we may run the risk of damaging our LED. Now if we look carefully at our power supply, we can see we're getting 3.99 volts from there, but we've got absolutely nothing happening on our LED. This doesn't mean it's broken, this means it's working in the correct way and we shall see that when we plot our graph. So there are our full set of results from plus 3.75 down to minus 3.99 and we can see the current changes. 
So we can now draw our axes, remember voltage along the bottom and current on the Y. Notice I've drawn this as a T shape. We'll now label up the axes. Notice on the current I've gone up in point zero twos. Point zero two, zero four, zero six, zero eight, and at zero eight it then goes to 0 0.1 and then 0 0.12. We can now plot our first result, which was 3.75, 3.75, and 0.12. And now we can plot the rest of the results. So we can see we've got a line here curving down and then flat along the bottom. So let's add our line of best fit. This is a straight line here, which then curves down to zero, and we go along there. And that is the characteristic graph for a diode. In the reverse bias, negative voltage, we have zero current flow, which is why our LED wasn't on. And then it is linear after this initial curve. This is called the knee of the graph. And it's linear there. It obeys Ohm's law for that portion of the graph. You can see that we have a threshold of 1 volt below which nothing happens and above which we start to get a current flow. And there we have required practical 4C, the current voltage characteristics for a diode. Now remember, you can download everything from my web shop web address is here. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, Grade Gain, and you'll be able to have a look at the playlist that I have by clicking on this link up here. Okay, good luck with your GCSEs. Thank you for watching.